School Basketball on Bear Country 95.3. Today from Curry X Cage at UMass and Amherst, it's the 2019 MIAA Western Mass Boys Division III Basketball Semifinals. The Frontier Red Hawks and the Narragansett Warriors. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, high buff courtside here at the cage. Hannah Gray is our studio producer to get us started tonight. A double dip of Western Mass Boys Basketball, the Western Mass Semifinals. We begin with Division Three and the second seeded Frontier Red Hawks at 18 and three take on the number three seed Narragansett Warriors with an 18 and three record. The winner gets a wear in the championship game Saturday. The wear Indians having punched their ticket last night. So Chris, we get ready for Frontier. Great season for the Red Hawks, obviously. A little bit of a stumble late in the year with losses to Greenfield and to Smith Academy, but did they atone themselves in their quarterfinal victory over Munson, 60, uh, rather over Palmer, 62 to 26. If they play like that, they may just win a Western Mass championship. Yeah, that was about as good as it gets. And uh, but you know, this is different. This is. I mean, I'm not saying that they won't do that tonight, but I think this is a whole different situation. It's been a long time since Frontier breathed the rarefied air that is the Curry Hicks cage. It can be a different feel on this stage. It can be a different feel on this floor. And we've seen in the past teams that have done very, very well in the regular season, very, very well in their opening round game at home, come in here and have problems. I don't necessarily expect that's gonna happen. I think this is a good matchup for Frontier. I think that they've got stronger front court presence as, the, as long as the guards play well and they play strong defense. They should come out of here with a win tonight. They are going up against a team that, while they may not have quite the height that Frontier has, I mean, Frontier with the Carey brothers going 6'10", in terms of Peter Carey and 6'9", Karsten Carey. You know, you got some decent height for Gansett, but they're a team that likes to get out into the open floor. They are a very high-energy team, fast-breaking offense. They have little uh, difficulty scoring on most nights, but it's doubtful that they've seen this kind of Frontier defense yet this season. Yeah, and I think that also on the other side of the ball, Frontier hasn't seen this amount of height on a team this year. A lot of times you go into an automatic advantage with the Carey brothers being the twin towers in the middle, but they've got some height on this Narragansett team. We'll see how that factors in. We'll take a timeout here on our pregame show. We'll come back. We'll get you the starting lineups and the opening tip-off. Live from the Cajun Amherst, this is Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extrememetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield.
And again, the winner of this one will play for a Western Mass Championship Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock against either Top Seed Sabas or number 5 Wakona. The Bulldogs and Wakona Warriors will tip off at approximately 6.30 here in the other semifinal, the other side of the bracket. The starting five again for Narragansett. Monette Harris and Dill in the backcourt with Edwards, Como, and Jakes up front. And for Frontier, you're familiar with these guys, the starting five. Awesome season for Alex Sharp, Kalen Evans, Peter Carey, Owen Morse, and Karsten Carey, the center. Carey will be jumping center against Ben Edwards, 6'6", six, six, against 6'9". Six, Narragansett, they had a tough time with Monument in their quarterfinal matchup, but they won that one last Thursday night, 72-70, and Frontier, as you know, Cruz past Palmer. 62 to 26. Front turn the home white with the navy blue and red. And Narragansett, the visiting team, lower seed in the visiting royal blue and white. Tip controlled by Gansett. They'll be moving right to left here in the opening half. We have a 30 second shot clock. We play eight minute quarters. Edwards going right base on little spin move. Kicks it back. Monette Harris sealed off there. Pass. Deep three ball by Edwards for the right side is good. 3 0 Gansett. Not wasting any time there at the three. 3-0 Gansett right off the jump. They come out in a man-to-man -man defense. Not really a matchup zone. Deep on the left side is Kalen Evans. The swing at top of the key to Morse. Morse has it on the left wing. Bounce pass left side to Evans in a high post. Peter Carey looking to get it down low to Karsten. Does so. Karsten from the left block up. Blocked on the way up. Got it back. Tipped away out of bounds. Off of Gansett. Frontier will maintain possession. Only seven to shoot though. Good D there by Jakes. Stood up uh, Karsten Carey is going for the jumper. Morrison bounds to Karsten Carey deep on the left side. Kalen Evans, top of the key to Morris. Four seconds, and he traveled as he stutter stepped as he up faked. Well, good defense on uh, that set by Narragansett. They held Frontier down and did not let him get a good opportunity to score. Just after 5 o'clock, you're listening to high school basketball tournament action from the Cajun Amherst on WPVQ, WPVQ HD, Greenfield, Bear Country. 95.3. Gansett with a 3 0 lead. Edwards, left side three ball. That is good. It's 6 0 Warriors. Oh, that kid might want to put a body on him. He can really shoot. And he has a very free and easy shooting motion. Just, uh, I, I like to call it a rock and chair motion. It looks effortless. Deep on the right side. Alex Sharp gets it to Karsten Carey from the right block and he hits over Edwards. Good work on the overplay there by Karsten and, and Kalen. 6 2 Narragansett. Monette Harris into the front court. Jakes, they get it on the left side. Here's Edwards. They double down on him. He's going baseline, but he stepped on the baseline, and it's going to go back to the Hawks. Well, that time they put Karsten right out on him, which is a good move. A lot of height there and making it much more difficult for him to get that shot off. Alex Sharp takes it into the front court right. Stops on the wing. Top of the key, Peter Carey. Dumps it down low to Karsten. Karsten going to work. Double team. Left side, 18-foot J by Kalen Evans is no good. Karsten the putback, yes! Well, we know who's going to be the centerpiece for Frontier tonight. It's going to be Karsten Carey, it looks like. Hawks back to within two now. It's 6-4, two minutes in. Winner goes to championship Saturday. Monette Harris throws up a runner from the right side, no good. Peter Carey the rebound. Shuffle pass over to Kalen Evans. They get it to Alex Sharp. Alex looks over at coach Ben Barshevsky. Takes it into the front court. Deep on the left, it's Evans. Holds it on his hip. Puts it to the floor. Top of the key, Peter Carey. Takes it left of the lane. Stops there. Left side, Evans picks up on the three. Goes to Owen Morris. Shot clock down eight. They go down low to Karsten. Double team. Blocked on the way up. Got it back. Power move. And we're tied at six. Will not be denied in that middle. I'll tell you, that guy owns the paint tonight. So a 6-0 run to begin the game for Gansett, and a 6-0 run now for Frontier. We're right back where we started. Monette Harris. Left side pass goes to Edwards. Edwards in the paint, running hook. Does not get the bounce. Evans skies for the rebound, nearly threw it away. Goes out of bounds, and that is going to be off Dill. It'll go back to Frontier. A lot of respect for Edwards. They had both Carey brothers double teaming Edwards. Try and throw a sky hook over that. Almost. Well, it would defy the laws of physics in most cases. <laughs> it would. <laughs> Top of the key, Kalen Evans. Passes left side to Alex Sharp. Sharp beyond the arc. Right-handed dribble. 
Peter Carey, top of the key. Shot clock at 15. On the right side, Morris wide open for three. Finds a seam, though. Drives through and hits, and Frontier has its first lead of the night. Good job by Owen not to jack up a three there. Take the lane when they give it to you. 8-6 Frontier. All the way through. They running jump pass back to Dill on the left. Almost a travel there. Dill calling directions. A little give and go with Como, but threw it away almost. Como recaptured it. Shot clock down to 12. Como. Gets it Edwards, left side, Dill, an NBA three, back rim no good, deep rebound taken down though by Jakes, back to Dill, Dipsy to drive, rejected by Peter Carey. Well, you can almost see that one coming. Picked up by Sharp, Frontier now with a two point lead, again they suffered a 6-0 Gansa run on a couple of Edwards threes, but they're on an 8-0 run right now. Carey, Peter Carey, tried to get it no. down low, but it was thrown and tipped away by Jakes. Como, left side pass, Edwards, high above the rim, missed the lay-in. Oh, they missed a couple of easy shots there. Looked like he wanted to jam it, and then looked like he changed his mind, and he ended up missing an easy lane. It was right there for him. Should have jammed it. 8-6 in favor of Frontier. Back on the attack. Deep on the right side, Owen Morse. Puts it to the floor. Kalen Evans between the circles. Back to Morse, right corner. Shot clock at nine. Owen Morse, pull up pop from 15. Off the back rim, no good. And the loose ball picked up by Monette Harris. He'll run it up on the right side. Aliu pass down low. Como got his man in the air. Missed the bunny down low. Put back though by Edwards is good. It's been all Edwards in the scoring so far, as long as, as well as, uh, well, for Narragansett anyway. We are tied at eight. 3.14 to play here in the first quarter at the cage. Owen Moore, steep on the right wing. Between the circle, Sharp's going to take a three. That's off the back rim, no. Peter, uh, Karsten Carey got the rebound. Puts it to the floor, traveling. I tell you, I love the way that Miles Jakes has defended Karsten Carey. He's got six points in the game, but Jakes hasn't made it easy for him at all. And Damian Como will come out of the, uh, out of the uh, Narragansett lineup. Noah Welch, number four, has replaced him. Three minutes to play here in the first half, and we are tied at eight. Deep on the left side is Monette Harris. Gets it back, top of the key. He'll jack a three. That's in and out, no good. Battle for the rebound. And a nice save along the baseline by Welch. And Dill will take a three off the front rim, no good. Alex Sharp gets the rebound. Ben Barczewski says, slow it down. This is what they want to do. They want to run their half-court offense and not get into a running match with these guys. Peter Carey, alley-oop down low to Karsten. Too far that time. One time it was too short. That one went off the backboard. Back quickly comes Welch. He peels back. Looks to pass out of a double team. He's having some trouble. And, oh, nearly, nearly called for five seconds. Finally did get it away to Evans. Dill. It's a screen at the top of the key from Edwards. Dill will take a three. That's off the front rim. Just barely hit the iron. Karsten Carey got the rebound. Not impressed with Darren Gantz's shooting so far in this game. Two minutes to play here in the quarter. We are tied at eight. It's been a game of runs. Alex Sharp from the foul line spins away. Owen Morse. To the line, to the lane, left the lane is no good. And the rebound taken down by Jakes. Monette Harris to the line, to the lane. Edwards, top of the key, sealed off there. He's being guarded right now by Sharp of all people. They need to switch off there. Coming through is Dill, little stutter step into the paint, throws up a runner, that is in and out no good. And the loose ball picked up by Evans. 1.33 to play here in the first quarter. We are tied at eight. You know, the front court right is sharp on the wing. Morse, he'll jack a deep three, and that one is off the mark as well. Battle for the rebound. It's pulled down by Edwards. Edwards, outlet pass on the left to Monette Harris. Monette Harris, top of the key on the right side to Dill on the wing. Guarded there by Morse. Back to Monette Harris near the UMass logo center court circle. Left side to Welch. Shot clock at 15. Game clock down at a minute. Edwards is going to take another three. Hits his third of this first quarter. Yeah, he's devastating for three points. That's all their points so far. Narragansett, back up by three, 11-8. Less than one minute to play here in the quarter. Here comes Kalen Evans on the right side into a double team, nearly walked, and throws the pass away, and Karsten Carey just bowled over Welch of Narragansett. Karsten picks up his first foul. Yeah, Narragansett's starting to step it up a little bit defensively, and that time he just, Carey just got taken down, and Kalen Evans got smacked underneath the basket. There was no call. A substitution for Narragansett. And uh, also Robinson, Brett Robinson's going to check in now for Frontier. Or check that. Jones Thompson. Yeah, it's Jones Thompson. Not B-Rob. Jones Thompson in for Kalen Evans. 
And Jacob Smith just checked in for Narragansett. 48 seconds left here in the quarter. Narragansett leads by three, 11-8. On the left side, it's Edwards. They jump out on him. Back in his way in against Carey. Posts him up. Went for the bank. No good. Peter Carey the rebound. Outlet on the left to Morse. Shot clock and game clock. Uh, only two seconds off here. Three seconds. 20 to shoot. 23 on the game clock. Holding the ball in his hip. About 40 feet from the bucket is Morse. Now he'll uh, check that. That's Sharp. Sharp takes it now to the right side. Down to 10 to shoot. Alex Sharp. Tricky dribbles into the paint. Top of the key. Three-pointer put up by Morse. That is in and out. No good. Jones Thompson, the rebound, puts it up with two seconds left. That is how the first quarter will end. End of one here at UMass and Amherst. And our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Narragansett at 11. Frontier 10 back after this on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Well, this is going to be, I think, a war as we go down the stretch. I was not that impressed with Gansett shooting. Uh, Frontier's defense, I think they did a pretty good job on Gansett, but I think it's unusual to see somebody trying to post up Karsten Carey. You don't see that very often. Yeah, these teams, uh, they've have now played eight minutes. And again, Narragansett, they're in the Western Mass Tournament. They are a Central Mass team. They play a Central Mass schedule. And yeah, I, I would think these two teams are very, very evenly matched. Second quarter underway. Frontier with the ball. The pass nearly tipped away. Alex Sharp has it on the right side. Sealed off on the baseline. Got it to Peter Carey. Kalen Evans, top of the key. Down low to Karsten. Dishes it right back to Peter, who lays it up and in for the right side. That's the way you need to get him more involved in the offense if you can. Nicely done. Frontier by one. 12-11. Early here in the second. Monette Harris. You swing it left side. Edwards going right baseline. And an offensive foul drawn nicely by Kalen Evans with those quick feet. He found a spot. Yeah, Kalen, Kalen might want to get an Oscar for that performance. That was <laughs> looked like he'd been shot with an elephant gun. Well, he barely got pushed off, but a good call and a good draw by Kalen. He did get to the spot, and Edwards just knocked him right down. So Frontier with the ball and a one-point lead. Evans deep on the left on the wing. Between the circles, they go to Sharp. Down low, Karsten Carey. He's double, turn, shoots. Oh, just popped out on him, no good. Peter Carey battling for the rebound, whistle, and a foul called on Narragansett. Did they get Como? Let's... No, that's on Edwards. And that's two on Ben Edwards early on here. Well, he's got all their points right now. And see if their head coach makes a shift here. No, Kalen Evans finds himself three. The open jumper from 17 is good. 14-11, Frontier by three. A minute in to the second quarter here. Winner plays either Sabas or Monument for the championship of Western Mass on Saturday. The pass tipped away by Frontier. Nice play there by Morse, or uh, Jones Thompson rather, and Carey. Evans has it deep on the left. Down low to Karsten Carey. Left block, turn, shoots, kind of forces one up, no good. Tip follow by Evans, got it. Good job by Kalen. Right where he needed to be for that. He is playing some good basketball lately. 16-11, three-point bomb put up. Ow, Edwards buried it again. That guy is wicked, wicked ball player. 16-14, 
Frontier by two. Back and forth we go. As Chris mentioned, this one should go this way the whole night. Karsten Carey deep on the right. Gets it to Peter Carey. They're working beyond the arc right now. Peter comes through. High off the glass, no good. Miss badly. Karsten the put back, no. May have gotten away with a travel. Back quickly because Como. Como, cross court pass on the right side to Dill. Dill nearly lost right in front of the Frontier bench. Recaptured it though. Takes it between the circles. Como deep on the left. Left corner, Monette Harris fakes the three. Little wraparound pass all by himself coming through his jakes. It's the first non-Harris point in the game for Narragansett. And we are tied at 16. We have had several lead changes and several ties already. And we're only, uh, we're less than halfway through the second quarter. Peter Carey, jumper from the right side is no good on the line. One and done for the Hawks. Como coming through. Cross court pass on the right. Dill's gonna take a three. He's gonna make a three. Well, that guy can shoot it as well, so a lot of weapons on the Narragansett side. And they won't, they've opened up a lead here. Tyler Dill, a very good shooter. He got off to a slow start in that first quarter, but he buried that one. 19-16 Narragansett now back up by three. They trailed by six a moment ago. They go down low to Karsten. Nice dish, <laughs> and putting it up and in is Kalen Evans. Well, alley you pass to Kalen on the baseline. Nicely done. 19-18 Narragansett. Dill into the front court left. Monette Harris in a high post, Jakes. Back to Monette Harris. He takes a deep three. In and out, no good. Karsten carry the rebound. Throws over on the left side to Sharp. Alex takes it across the timeline. Center court circle picked up there by Dill. Man-to-man -man defense now by Gansett. Evans deep on the left. They get it down low. Left baseline jumper by Karsten. Bounced around and fell through. Did get the bounce on that one. And now Frontier reclaims the lead at 20 to 19. Four and a half to play here in the first half. Dill, deep on the left wing. Taking his man off the dribble. Swoops through, puts up a runner, no good. Peter Carey the rebound. Over to Sharp, and again, Frontier not looking to run. They want to maximize each offensive possession here. Now a steal by Monette Harris. Sharp chasing him, the ball. Monette Harris goes to the floor. They should get him for a travel. What are they saying? No, they're saying it's out of bounds. Yeah. Back to Frontier. A good job by Monette Harris to, to anticipate that pass to Kalen Evans. And Narragansett calls a timeout. We'll take a break. Four minutes and two seconds left to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 20, Narragansett 18 on Bear Country 95.3. Well, Chris, back and forth we go. This is uh, this is a treat. That you talk about, you know, seeds matching up well. The two, three. This is classic. Yeah, and they do play very similar styles. I'm surprised. I would have expected something a little different from Narragansett, but this is a uh, this is anybody's game right now. All right, we're halfway through the second quarter. Frontier with the ball in a one point lead, and Owen Morris has checked back into the lineup. And uh, Owen Wachowicz is out there right now. So the two Owens right now. Wachowicz to Karsten Carey. Nice power move. Missed it. Put back was no good. Tipped around. Oh, Frontier would love to get that one back. Yeah. A couple of misses there by Karsten. Into the front court. Well, Joe, that's a backcourt as he threw it back to Como, who had not gone over the timeline. And the head coach is shouting over yeah. to Welk saying, be aware of where your teammates You've are. You've got to be so careful of that. And that's, that's not a mistake you want to see made at this level. Frontier again with the ball and a one-point lead. Kalen Evans, he has looked sharp so far tonight. Top of the key, holding there, directing traffic. He's got to get rid of it. Throws up on the right side. They get it down low. Right of the lane, Karsten Carey backing in. Jump pass over to Morse. Shot clock at 12. Morse is going to take a three. That is no good. Rebound taken down by Edwards. Got it over the Welch and now to Dill. Tyler Dill. Deep on the right wing, throws over there to Como, back to Dill, top of the key now. Three minutes to play in the half. Narragansett with the ball trailing by one. Welch gets it to Monette Harris. Down low, all alone, swooping through the lane and hitting is Welch. That's a set play, and they worked that one to perfection. Frontier did not see that one coming. Narragansett by one, 21-20. 2.45 to play here, first, quarter, uh, first half. Couple of subs getting set to come in. Karsten Carey, left baseline, goes for the reverse lane, got blocked, but a foul. Welch got a clean block. We'll see if it was, in fact, Noah Welch. It is on Noah Welch. The Gansa crowd does not like that. That was well defended. They've done a good job hassling Karsten and knocking him off his game a bit. A couple of rare misses, but he's got a chance for a couple of uh, free ones here. First one is on the way and is good. 
And for Narragansett, back in is Jakes, and Peter Carey checks in for Frontier for Owen Wachowicz. One more for Karsten Carey. Again, later on tonight, we'll have the third of three games here at the cage today. Division four semifinal. Pioneer against Jory, the rematch. Winner gets away. Our second free throw is good. 22-21 in favor of Frontier as he made them both. Como gets it back to Dill. Dill, little wraparound pass. Three-point bomb put up on the left side. No good for Monette Harris, but an offensive rebound on the weak side taken down by Gansett. And they get a new shot clock. In a high post, Monette Harris, foul the line jumper. No good. Rebound taken down by Peter Carey. Two minutes, 10 seconds to play here in the first half. Frontier with the ball, leading by one. Beyond the arc is Morse. Bounce pass, Peter Carey, left side, Kale Evans, wide open for three. And missed too strong, missed badly, actually. Pass comes up, Dill, little crossover dribble, and they're gonna get him with a carry. Wow. You do not see that very often in a situation like this, but breaks all over the place for Frontier. They gotta start opening up a lead here. Yeah, Narragansett with a carry and a backcourt violation, but they are a, they are the real deal. Really, really good basketball no, it's a club solid here. team, but a couple of mental mistakes. Peter Carey has a top of the key on the right side to Morse. Bounce pass to Evans, took his eye off it, tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Hawks, as that was off of Monad Harris. 1.43 on the game clock, 18 seconds, <coughs> excuse me, 18 seconds on the Frontier shot clock. Owen Morse will inbound on the sideline right. Throws it in to Karsten Carey. Left side to Evans, 15 on the shot clock. Top of the key, Morse. On the right side, Karsten Carey. Little spin move on the baseline, jump pass to Pierre Carey. Goes up for the slam. That's what you want right there. Use Karsten as a decoy and open it up for Peter. Frontier 24, Narragansett 21. Dill passes to Jakes, gets it right back to Dill. Off the dribble, a three-point jumper, no good. Peter Carey the rebound. Not happening from the outside right now for Gansett. Coming down to the one-minute mark of the first half, Frontier with the ball, they lead by three. Sharp on the right side, they swing it left side, Owen Morse. Morse takes it in, pull up pop from the foul line. Back rim, no good. Rebound taken down by Jakes, a minute left. Quickly comes Gansett. This is what they like to do. Como, jump pass left side. Dill squares up for three. Got it. Oof. Net never moved. And we're tied at 24 with 44 seconds left to play in a very entertaining and enjoyable first half here. Sharp, deep on the left. Top of the key, Peter Carey. Down low to Karsten. Through a double team. Turn, shoots. Doesn't get the bounce. Rebound taken down by Gansett. It's a two-on-two -two break. Monette Harris all the way up. And a blocking foul called against Frontier. It's going to be on, I think, Alex Sharp. But the, the guy who's the MVP right now for Gantz, it's Miles Jakes. He has made life very difficult for Karsten Carey. And in the paint, Karsten's had a rough time, except for the first couple of minutes. He hasn't had much luck in the second quarter. Lottig checks in now for Narragansett. And inbounding on the baseline is D Tyler Dill. Left side, Monette Harris finds a seam, goes for the lay-in, yes and one. That was a pretty move by Monette Harris. They're gonna get Karsten, I think. Yeah, he's quick, Monette Harris. He just found that little bit of air in the paint and came all the way through and he forced Frontier to react to him. That's two on Karsten too, so that bear's watching. Noah Welch checks in for Tyler Dill for Narragansett. And a chance at a three-point play now for Freddie Monette Harris. Right-handed shooter, where's the number one? And it's good. Narragansett 27, Frontier 24, shot clock off, game clock at 20 as we come down to the end of the first half here. Alex Sharp between the circles, guarded by Welch, backing it out, 15 seconds. Takes it to the right now, again, very deep. Now starts to penetrate, nine seconds. Left side pass to Morse, six seconds. Nearly a steal, Evans into the paint, throws up a runner at the buzzer, no. With 1.8 seconds left, a blocking foul called against Narragansett, and Kalen Evans will shoot two. They were trying to set up the three, I think, and Kalen just said, the heck with it. We got two seconds left. I'm gonna go straight to the basket and drew the foul. Two free throws, and we have wholesale substitutions coming now for Narragansett. They're gonna get their offense back in for the 1.8 seconds left. Evans misses the first free throw. He'll get one more. Yeah, they're gonna get their three-point shooters out there. And they include Smith, Dill, and Edwards, who has been deadly out there so far. 
One more free throw for Evans with Frontier trailing by three. It's been a back and forth affair. Neither team's been able to really pull away. Evans dips, shoots the second free throw. That one is good. 27-25 Gansett. One second left. Three-quarter court. Shot up off the backboard. No good. Halftime here at the Cage at Amherst. The Western Mass boys D3 semifinal. It's Narragansett 27. Frontier 25 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The halftime report next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. We're at the Cajun Amherst, the Western Mass Boys D3 semifinal, and it's number three Narragansett by two at halftime over number two Frontier, 27 to 25. I'm Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins alongside. Our studio producer is Hannah Gray. We're uh, cutting in the Hannah show to bring you a basketball game. And Chris, when you get to this level, and it's a number two versus a number three, the presumption is it's going to be top quality back and forth basketball. You hopefully get a good game. We got a good game. Yeah, it doesn't always work out that way. But in this particular case, two very evenly matched teams, they play similar styles. Uh, I think that uh, Narragansett, though, has defended Frontier in the paint very, very well. I think that's been the difference. And Karsten Carey got nosed out of four or five shots there in the second quarter because of great defense by Miles Jakes. I wasn't that impressed with Narragansett shooting, uh, except from three-point land where they've been pretty good, and the guy who's been doing the damage has been Ben Edwards, but four threes in that half. But uh, I still think, you know, Frontier's down by two, but I think it's Frontier's game to lose. If they can come back and find a way to create more options under the basket, their outside shooting hasn't been great, but Karsten feeding Peter Carey has worked a couple of times. I'd like to see him mix some things up a little bit. And Owen Morris right now has not nailed a three, which is unusual. And three-point shooters sometimes have a problem in this building. Yeah, Great three-point sure. three shooters come in here, and they get snake bit for whatever reason. That may be what's happening right now. But I still think that the Frontier is the better team from what I've seen in that first half. The second D3 semifinal scheduled tip time of 6.30 here at the gauge. Number one, Sabas. Number five, Wakona. So the winner of that game will play the winner of this one. The championship game will be Saturday at 4 o'clock here at the cage. And uh, obviously, if we do have a frontier there, we will broadcast that game live here on Bear Country. That will do it for our halftime report. Number three, Narragansett leading number two, Frontier at intermission 27-25. Second half coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. We are set for the start of the second half. Narragansett, Frontier, Narragansett will have the ball to begin the second half. They'll be working to the basket on our right. Frontier will be moving right to left. And the crowd really filling in. We have uh, the Frontier and Narragansett crowds already here, but now we're starting to see crowds, uh, fans coming in from Sabas and from Wakona. All right, Narragansett leading by two, 27-25, trying to seal the deal for championship Saturday. Jakes at the top key. Hands it to Como. Como takes it on the left side. Looks to pass. Passes over on the right to Dill. Tyler Dill trying to take. Kalen Evans off the dribble. Can't do so. They dump it down low to Edwards. Edwards working in against Carey. Hits over Karsten. 29-25. Neera gains it by four. Their biggest lead was six. Six to nothing. Frontier later took a six-point lead of their own. But for the most part, it's been back and forth. 
all evening long. Peter Carey on the right side, turns, shoots, hits from the right baseline. A little hesitation jumper by Peter. Guys, guy up in the air. Narragansett by two, 29-27, early here in the third. The second half, we get over the right side. Monette Harris, down low to Dill, back to Monette Harris. Edwards, a little stutter step. Como, shot clock at 10, Como the runner, back rim no good. Karsten carry the rebound, Frontier now with a chance to tie or reclaim the lead on a three. Sharp, directing traffic with the left hand. Peter Carey between the circles, left side to Evans. Evans holds there, looking down low. Karsten Carey, foul line jumper, wide open, maybe too wide open, he missed it. Off Way too wide open. No one around him. Coming through his coma on the right side, sealed off by Owen Morris. Monette Harris back to Morris, top of the key. Dill fakes to three, drive it on through, throws up a runner as he was uh, losing control. No good. Alex Sharp. Oof. Takes it into the front court. That was kind of a weird pass from Morse, but Sharp was able to collect it. Evans deep in the right corner. Down low, Karsten Carey goes up strong. Hits from the right side, and we're tied at 29. They can time that. They can do that all day against these guys. Six minutes to play, third quarter, 29 all. Three-pointer put up, Monette Harris. Oh, just popped out on him. I mean, that was two-thirds of the way through the cylinder, and then it just spun out on him. Rebound taken down by Frontier. Sharp. Left wing, top of the key. They get it to Evans on the right. Kalen puts it to the floor. Little spin move, can't get the shot away. Back to Sharp, shot clock at 15. Alex on the left side. Down low, Peter Carey. Nice power move, banks it home. That's a great move by Peter Carey. Little spin move on the baseline, nothing fancy. Just using that height to his advantage. And Frontier takes the lead again. 31-29, 5.25 to play here in the third. Dill's gonna take a three, that is good. Yeah, they run that outside screen so well, and that time it worked for Dill. Gants it by one, 32 to 31. Five ten to play here in the third. Evans between the circles, right side to Morse on the wing, right corner. They get it down low. Karsten Carey on the right baseline, little runner no good, put it back, no. Third time was a charm, it's good. Can't give him three whacks at it like that. Frontier by one. Number one, Monad Harris. Como, they kick it on the right side. Edwards going right baseline, working on Peter Carey. Now both Carey brothers are there. And a foul, reach and foul. Looks like they got Peter Carey on that reach in. Uh, Peter got a hand on that ball. That's, I don't know. They're going to call it. They're not going to get the call back, but it didn't look like a foul to me. Jacob Smith into the lineup now for Gansett. Yeah, we have a timeout on the floor taken by Frontier. We'll step aside, 4.45 to play here in the third quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 33, Narragansett 32 on Bear Country, 95.3. By my count, we've had at least nine lead changes in this game since it started. Yeah. And uh, it's just been amazing. And this is like a heavyweight fight, you know, these <laughs> two really very is. evenly matched teams, different parts of the Commonwealth, but very similar styles. And I, I got to believe that the X Factor is going to be one of the two Carey brothers in the second half for Frontier if they want to win this game. Tyler Dill will inbound on the baseline, gets it into Smith, poked away off Evans, so it'll stay with the Warriors. Dill will throw in on the corner. And he's holding hands over his head. He's calling, but throwing in out of a spread. Gets it in to Jakes, back to Dill, deep on the right side. Evans guarding him closely. They get it down low to Jakes. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Dill off balance jumper. That is no good. Deep rebound comes to Jakes. Dumps it down low to Smith. Rejected by Karsten. Carry out of bounds. It'll stay with Gansett. Good block by Karsten, but I don't know why no one after that rebound. It came all the way out to the top of the key, and Narragansett got a second shot at it. Monette Harris. The throw in from the baseline. Gets it in all by himself. Jakes misses oh, it from the right oh, side. Got to make those. That was a perfect inbound pass. Owen Morris comes back for Frontier on the wing. He's had an off night shooting, but he is very capable. Over to Evans. Evans fakes the three, and on that up fake, he shuffled his feet. That's traveling. Yeah, Kalen does that every once in a while. He gets one step ahead of himself, and that time it just got him. We're just about halfway through the third quarter here. Frontier by one, 32-33. Winner goes to championship Saturday against either Wakona or Sabas. That's a one versus five. That's the other semi, and that's up next. 
Monet Harris with 15 to shoot. Top of the key, spin move, little teardropper in the lane, doesn't get the roll, and an attempted save on the baseline by Monet Harris, but he was out of bounds, back to Frontier. This is gonna sound like a cliche, but I'm gonna say it. It's gonna come down to who makes more shots, and right now, Narragansett's missing some easy buckets. Yeah, both teams have uh, struggled a little bit here in the second half. Not a lot of action, a lot of misses so far, but that could change. Nearly a steal by Monet Harris. Evans no. goes to the floor, got it to Karsten Carey over to Sharp. Shot clock at 15, Alex backs it out to Peter Carey. Going baseline, steps in, and zip the pass. If it's possible, it's over the head of Karsten Carey. That's hard to do. Yeah, I don't know what that was about, but that was certainly a, a good a good place to defense by Narragansett. Kept Frontier off balance just enough to cause that overthrow. Jacob Smith out. And Como back in for the Warriors. They trail by one, 33-32. We're down to 3.27 to play here. Third quarter now a steal by Kellen Evans. No one back, and he will lay it up and in. Great anticipation by the K-Dog, right where he wanted to be. Frontier by three, 35-32. 3.15 to play. Third quarter now a steal by Peter Carey. Coming all the way through. Jams it home. You knew that was coming. Lighting it up with the Frontier faithful going nuts. And now Edwards is coming back, loses it on the baseline. Which way are we going? Frontier basketball and Red Hawk Nation making some noise. Starting to break down for Gantt and Frontier starting to get hot. This is what you want. Timeout on the floor, I think. Nope, quick sub. Substitution, Como is out, and he's been replaced by Noah Welch. Frontier has opened up a five-point lead. A make here will bring it to the biggest advantage they've had in this basketball game. Their biggest lead was six in the first quarter. Peter Carey between the circles to Karsten in the paint. Double team. Passes right side, tipped away. Monette Harris, he tried to get it to Kalen Evans, couldn't make the connection. Monette Harris now back for the Warriors. Top of the key, to the line, to the lane. He is blocked by Karsten Carey, but a foul. Foul's going to be on the floor, though. And Monette Harris is still down. He is very slow to get to his feet. He's okay now. And you're right, that foul was on the floor, so they're not shooting. Well, Monet Harris looked like he was going to go to the line, but no, they're no. going to inbound it on the baseline. Ref made that clear as soon as the foul was occurred. It happened on the floor. Warriors need a make here because Frontier has gotten their crowd into the game. It is a Frontier crowd, by the way. Plenty of people from Gansett, but a lot of people from the South County. Nearly tipped away by Frontier on the inbounds. On the left side it goes, Monet Harris. Ooh, and yep. an over the back reach in foul call against Peter Carey as he tried to poke it away from Jakes. Yeah, I thought he got away with it, but no, definitely got enough contact. Peter, Peter even knew when he pulled back, he said, did I get away with that? That's the 13th foul this half. On Frontier, nearly a steal by Evans, ends up in the backcourt, Monet Harris got it. New shot clock after the foul call, so no issue there. Brings it to the front court, and a high post to Jakes. Left side pass, here comes Dill, teardropper, and that's an air ball too oh, strong. Wow, he, he tried to get it over the 6'10", Peter Carey, and he's hearing it from the Frontier crowd, the air ball chant. Left side, Owen Morris, he's gonna take a three, got it! That's what you need from that guy. Oh boy, that's a killer right there, eight point lead. Hawks lead by eight, 40 to 32, two minutes to play in the third. All alone down low, shot up and in, count it, and a foul, and Noah Welch will go the line for a chance at a three-point play. That was a great bit of passing there. Onto the baseline, and Welch got the bucket, and Owen tried to get him, but got the hand instead. It's a big bucket for Narragansett. They're on the way to blowout city there for a second. I want to thank more of the sponsors on the broadcast, electrician Neil A. Zielinski, Galinsky Landscaping, the Gilmontague Regional Schools, and Muffins Market. Free throw is good, a three-point play, and a timeout on the floor. We'll step aside. A minute 55 to play here in the third quarter, and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 40, Narragansett 35 on Bear Country, 95.3. Narragansett Regional, the Warriors, they are in Baldwinville. That's a section of Templeton. It's the next town over from Athol. They play Athol, as you know, Chris, every year in football. So there is a little bit of a local connection, but for the most part, these teams do not know each other, but they're getting very well acquainted tonight. Well, I'll tell you, this is, this is what these teams work all year for, to be on this stage. But as broadcasters, it's rare to see a game that is this evenly matched, this entertaining. It's been a blast to do. 
Frontiers had a good third quarter so far. They opened up an eight-point lead until that three-point play there by Welch. And they lead by five, and now Narragansett is going to put some pressure on in the backcourt. They haven't pressed tonight. That's the first time. Now they are moving it back just a little bit. Owen Morris will run it up to the front court right side. Guarded closely there by Welch. Top of the key, to the line, to the lane, the runner. Oh. Around the rim and out. Rebound poked around, it goes out of bounds. And it's going to go over to Narragansett. A foul called on Karsten Carey. Oh, that's three. And that is three on the Frontier Senior Center. So that will definitely be a watching. Ben Barshevsky talking to his assistants about that. All right, Monet Harris into the front court. Side to Dill, it's Welch. They go top of the key. Monet Harris, jump pass on the right side to Dill. From the foul line, nice pass. All alone down low, Welch put back by Como. Got it. Good job by Como to come back and clean up the glass there. Narragansett back to within three. It's 40 to 37, a minute 15 to play here in the third. Frontier had an eight point lead. And it's slowly going away. They nearly throw it away. Nice save though by Alex Sharp. Got it to Karsten Curry. Working left baseline. And a foul down low is called. That's gonna go against Como. I do believe, we'll see who actually got the ticket. I think that was Jakes. You're right, it's on Jakes. It is on Jakes. Well, Jakes has been the guy that's been causing problems for Carey. And that time Carey got a little bit of help, dueled him a little bit on that uh, rebound. Karsten Carey will be shooting too. Off to our left, shooting right towards the Frontier student section. First of two is up, it is good. 41-37. He's got 15 points, this Karsten Carey, in this game. That breaks a 5-0 Gansett run. One more for Karsten Carey, lets it fly. That one is good as well. Frontier by five, 42-37. One minute to play here in the third quarter on this Western Mass Division III semifinal. Jakes at the foul line, gets it back to Dill. They clear out. Dill now will back it out. Looks to get a screen, working for a screener roll. They can't do it. Dill sealed off on the left side. Get it down low to Edwards. He sets a screen, Whoa. a three-point bomb is an air ball. Monette Harris, though, got the rebound. And a blind reverse land is good. That's just stupid. <laughs> oh. What a play. 42-39, Frontier by three. 30 seconds left to play here in the quarter. Shot clock and game clock are about four seconds apart right now. Evans deep on the left wing, guarded by Monette Harris. Foul line, Peter Carey. Jump past the Karsten, tipped away. Nice D. And now we have two. We have a held ball, actually. It was two Narragansett players who are battling for it. I, I would have I said travel. That's what I would have said. Interesting. It will be, it'll be Frontiers on alternate possession, but I saw two Gansett players who were actually battling for the ball. Yeah, I don't know. That was, that was a little weird. So Frontier will indeed keep possession here. Shot clock is off. 16.8 seconds left here in the quarter. Sharp will inbound on the baseline left. Into Evans, deep in the left corner. Down low, Peter Carey, working, turn, shoots. In and out, no good. Rebound taken down by Edwards. 10 seconds left in the third. Frontier leads by three. Monette Harris finds the seam. Rejected by Peter Carey, but a foul. Wow, a thunderous block. I thought it was gonna take the guy's head off. I mean, he came flying through there, but they got a foul. That's three on him. Both Carey brothers have three fouls as we head to the fourth quarter. Monette Harris shooting two with his team trailing by three with four seconds left here in the third. Monette Harris lets the first one go. It is good. 42-40 Frontier. One more for Monette Harris. He toes the line, holds the ball on his hip. Dribbles it just once, dips, shoots. That one is good as well. Frontiers lead down the one, 42-41. Uh -oh. Nearly a steal by Welch, it goes out of bounds and Frontier will keep it, but only 2.7 seconds left in the quarter and they need to go the full 94 feet. Gotta be very careful when you inbound this ball. Evans, holding, looking to throw in, gets it to Karsten Carey, lets it fly from center court. Nope. No good. End of three here at UMass Amherst. And our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 42, Narragansett 41. Fourth quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3.
support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. It's gut check time. This next eight minutes, it's going to come down to who wants it more. Very Nick, simple. Narragansett with the ball. They trail by one. Buckle up, folks. This has been a great ride so far. Monet Harris, a little runner on the lane, and that's no good. Karsten Carey clears the board. Not a bad shot. Just didn't drop for the young man. Alex Sharp takes him to the front court right. Peter Carey, top of the key. Passes over the left side to Morris. Almost a miscommunication between Peter and some of his teammates. Karsten now in the paint. That tipped away as he headed up. Coming all the way through is Dill and reaching for the ball. And Karsten Carey had it on the baseline. It goes out of bounds. It's off of Frontier. And Narragansett now will keep it with a chance to reclaim the lead here. They trail by eight with a couple of minutes left in the third. So nice job by then, keeping their composure and coming back. And now what do we got? We have a brief stoppage of play. The wet spot on the floor, I think. Maybe? No. I think we're good to go. Dill throws in to Jakes. Jakes, they get it over. Monette Harris. And a steal by Evans. Evans is going to take it all the way through, and he lays it up and in. Can't work and weave that often with Kalen Evans. He will kill you every time with that. Frontier by three, 44-41. As you come down to the seven mark here, nice look down low, but unable to finish was Welch. It was right there for him. If Gansett loses this game by a bucket, they're going to look back at some of those easy misses, Chris. Big misses, a lot of them. They've had, by my count, four, maybe five very makeable shots that they just didn't finish, and it's really hurt them. All right, Frontier with a chance to get that advantage even higher. They lead by three. Sharp on the left side. Picks up the dribble. Down low to Karsten Carey. Tipped away. Monet Harris. That's They're doing a great job fronting him. Yeah, that's not working. They're going to find a different way to get the ball into him. Monet Harris is sealed off at the head of the circle. Gets it to Jakes. Back to Monet Harris. To the line. To the lane. Left side. Wide open. Edwards for three. That shot, though, is no good. He's been quiet lately. Welch to put back. No, but a foul on Frontier. Uh-oh. Question, who is it on? Is it on 2-2? Karsten Carey, if so, that's four. Yep. It's on Karsten Carey. I don't know. Maybe you got to get him out of there. I don't know. I don't know if you oh can take him off the floor boy. at this point. This, uh, this is when you hate thinking to be a head coach. Well, they got to think about it. Yeah, right now. Frontier, they're going to talk about it right now. We'll step aside. 44 41, Frontier by three. 6 19 to play on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. We're back right after this on Bear Country. So it's what I expected. They took what they took Karsten out with the four fouls. They got Walkowitz at the four. And now they've got Peter Carey in the center. So we'll see. It's a big moment for Owen Walkowitz off the bench. Second free throw now by Welch is in. That makes it a two-point game now. 44-42 Frontier. Now a steal. And a three-ball right side is no good. Tipped around. It comes down to Kalen Evans. Nearly a three by Tyler Dill. Oh. Frontier leads by two with six minutes to play, and Karsten Carey on the bench with four fouls oh. and taking his eye off the ball, and it went off the shin of Owen Morse, an unforced turnover, back to the Warriors with a chance to tie or take a lead. Now this is where you worry about the wheels coming off the wagon. Monette Harris, deep on the left. Last score pass to Dill. 
Dill gets it back. In a high post. Passes over to Welch. Top of the key. Shot clock now down to 15. Monette Harris in the foul line. Backs it out. 12 to shoot. Passes over. This is Edwards. He was immense in the first half and very quiet since then. Monet Harris, little wraparound pass down low. Welch hits. We are tied at 44 with 5.30 to play in the basketball game. Frontier now heading up across the timeline. Gets it over between the circles. Nearly a steal. Kellen Evans pull up pop from the foul line right. It is good. He got the bounce. Frontier 46, Gansett 44. We come down to the five minute mark now. Monad Harris in a high post. They get it left side to Welch. Hands right back. Monad Harris for three. Buried it. Oh. Narragansett reclaims the lead. 47 46. Back and forth we go. This is a classic game. And we still have 4.52 to play. Maybe more. Would not be shocked if we went to OT. Kalen Evans off a curl. And a foul on the floor called against Gansett. I believe they got Freddie Mondad Harris on that one. I don't know why it's on the floor. It looked like he fouled in the act, but they're going to say it's on the floor. That's a bad call, I think. The Frontier will get a new shot clock. They trail by one. They've led through most of the second half. After going into halftime, trailing by two. Evans for three, right side. That is no good. Walkowitz rebound, found the open man. Great play. And he gets it over to Owen Morse, who puts it up and in. Huge play by Walkowitz. He could have taken the shot and dished it off. Smart move. Frontier leads by one, 48-47. 4.22 to play. Three-point bomb put up top of the key. That is no good by Dill. Rebound comes down to Frontier. And now the Hawks. Look to increase the advantage. Ben Barshevsky frantically calling the play. Sharp gets it over to Peter Carey. Walkowitz, foul line jumper. In and out, no good. Chasing down his rebound, got tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to Narragansett. A lot of contact, but no foul call either yeah. way. Kalen threw his body at that ball, trying to keep it in bounds. Couldn't thought, do it. I thought that was a good non-call, though, because he had three guys going for it, and no one had an no one gained an unfair advantage by using his body so it's a good non-call halfway through the fourth Frontier leads by one Dill gets it to Welch Welch takes it left side down low to Como back to Dill foul line jumper is good Narragansett back up again by one 49-48 gotta get Karsten back in there and here comes Karsten Carey he'll be out there with four fouls and one more, and he is disqualified. Peter Carey fakes the shot, throws up a runner, no, but a foul. Called by Dave Hastings, and that is going to go against Edwards. He should be shooting two here, yeah, okay, that time. And where has Edwards been? Has he scored in the second half? He really hasn't had any touches, really. Not really, it's amazing. He had four, he had one, he's got yeah, two points in the second half, he had 14 in the first. Yeah, he, they haven't really run the offense through him. The well, Frontier's done a good job. Denying him the ball. Peter Carey hits the first. That ties the game again at 49. Como is in. And Noah Welch checks out. And Karsten Carey back in for Frontier. But again, he is playing with four fouls. Peter Carey hits the second. Frontier now back up by one. 50 to 49. 3.30 to play in this one. Here at the cage, winner goes to championship Saturday. Three ball, right side is good by Dill. And Dill is definitely heated up in the second half. 52-50, Narragansett by two as we come down to the three minute mark. Deep on the left side is Owen Morse on the wing. Try to pass it to Karsten Kiri. Great play there by Como. Coming all the way through, Como goes up and he got blocked in a foul on Frontier after a great play by, J by uh, Jakes. Yeah, Jakes did a good job, Como also in there and they're making it very, very tough to get the ball into Karsten Carey at all. They've taken that part of the game away from Frontier. But can they keep the foot on the gas here? Two big free throws. Damian Como with two free throws, two makes will make it a two possession game. Timeout on the floor, we'll step aside. 2.59 to play here in the basketball game. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Narragansett at 52, Frontier 50. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, Hannah Gray, 
And shooting two free throws on the far side is Damian Como of Narragansett. His team leads by two. So again, as we said before the break, two makes, and it'll make it a two-possession game, which would be huge. First free throw is up, around the rim and out. <laughs> it just spun out on him. It looked good coming out of the hand. So the best he could do now is give his team a three-point lead. Spins the ball, dips, shoots. That one is good. Narragansett 53, Frontier 50. Under three minutes to play now in the basketball game. And now a press, full court press. But they break it with ease. Here comes Evans on the right side, all the way through. Dips oh. a new drive, it's good. What a play by Kalen Evans. Frontier back to within one at 53-52. Gansett, 240 to play. Deep in the left side is Dilly. He's come up big. Reverse lay and is good. Wow. Yeah, he's taking over this game in the second half. Dill has. 55-52. Gansett by three. 225 to play in the basketball game. Sharp gets it to Karsten Curry. Looks to pass. Now back and down low. Gets it back to Owen Morris. Owen all the way through in the paint. Puts up the runner. No good. Battle for the rebound. Karsten had it. Lost it. Puts it up. No good, but a foul. And he'll go the line for two. Carson did a good job to even get that shot off. Again, Como and Jakes have been all over his business in the paint throughout the second half. Two critical free throws for Karsten Carey of Frontier. Off to our left. His team trails by three points. Now they trail by two. The first one is good. One more for the 6'9 senior. Dips, shoots, and no good. Evans got the rebound and calls a timeout. Did he get the timeout call? What do we got? He got the timeout call. What a play by Kevin Evans. What a play by Evans. Heads up. That was a terrific play. We'll step aside for a 30-second break. 2-10 to play. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Gets it 55, Frontier 53. We can't overstate how important that play was after the free throw missed by Karsten Carey. Going to the floor to get the loose ball and getting the timeout call was Kalen Evans. He has really played well tonight. Yeah, it's, he's been huge, and especially in the second half. He sort of put them on his back a little bit. Now it's time to make him believe. All right, Frontier has the ball. They trail by two with 2.10 to play. Sharp inbounding it. Gets it into Evans deep on the left. Down low, Peter Curry. Peter, back to Evans. Shot clock at 22. We now have two minutes to play in the game. Gants it by two. Down low to Peter Curry. They go to Karsten. Down low, Evans all by himself. Gets his man up in the air. He got blocked. Great play. Tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier with 11 to shoot. 1.53 on the game clock. Yeah, Kalen did the right thing. Get his guy up in the air. But unfortunately, the guy got the good play in the block. He inbounded to Karsten Curry, to Kalen Evans. They work it all the way around. Morse for three in the lead. No good. Tipped out deep. Peter Curry gets it. New shot clock for Frontier. Oh, but they throw the ball away. Did it get tipped? No. Back, uh, back to Gansett. 142 to play. The Warriors lead by two. He was trying to feed Morse. I know what he was trying to do on the baseline, but just too high. All right, Narragansett. This would be a huge make if they can get it. They lead by two as we come down to the 130 mark of this fourth quarter. They get it down low all by himself. The shot is up and in. Nice feed and Jakes finishes down low. Gants it by four with 122 to play. Frontier needs a bucket here. Doesn't need to be three, obviously. Morse on the right wing. Picks up the dribble on a high post to Peter Carey. Left side to Sharp, 4-3. Air ball, too strong, comes down to Gansett. They're on the break, two on two. Over to Edwards, lays it up, no good. Tip follow, no. Karsten Carey got the rebound. And an offensive foul oh. on Carey is fouled out of the game. He was clearing out with his elbow, and the Gansett player dropped That's to the floor. Absolutely terrible. That is a terrible, terrible call. That is awful. Wow, that was not a foul. Karsten Carey, he got the rebound, and he was looking to make an outlet pass. And again, the Gansett player, give him credit. He did a great job 
of drawing the officials' attention. Yeah, he sold it well. Yeah, but he that, sold it real awful. well. That's an awful, and awful way for that, that kid's career to end if that's what happens. If that's what happens, they're down by four with a minute to play, and it'll be Gansett basketball after the foul. That was the ninth team foul, so player control. It'll be a possession right now for Gansett, and I'll make here, and they may very well wrap it up right here. Frontier needs the D up right now. They cannot allow any points on this trip. All right. Gansett by four. They inbound it. Down low. Como went for the bank. It spun out. No good. Got the rebound. Put back. Yes. Damian Como puts him up by six. 59-53. 45 seconds left. Kalen Evans. He'll go left baseline. Puts it up off the glass and in. Gansett by four with 40 seconds left to play. Go get it. Press him. They need to provoke a turnover here. They're being a little bit too lax defensively. Coming all the way through. Dill, the runner is up. No good, but a blocking foul. will call it down low against Frontier. 30.3 seconds left to play in the game. And Narragansett now with a chance to seal the deal right here, right now. Way too much time left off the clock. They had to go after him. They needed to press. And they didn't do it. This is not this is on the floor, it looks like. Uh, it is. It's which actually well Narragansett's gonna call a timer. We're gonna keep it here. That's actually a disadvantage uh, for Pioneer. You actually in a way, well, you know, if they can come up with a steal on the inbound, but otherwise you definitely you want to get that possession back. But they're down by four points now. 59 to 55, 30.3 seconds left in the basketball game. Gansett will be inbounding on their baseline, and Chris will state the obvious. They need Frontier. They can't let a lot of time go by. They need to try to come up with a steal, if not deliver an immediate foul. Yeah, and I, and I don't know. I don't know. It'd be, I just think that that was a mistake to not go after them more aggressively yep. in that last exchange. After they, that they, make by uh, that Elvis, cost yeah. That cost them 20 seconds, I think, right there. Frontier had opened up. An eight-point lead in the third quarter. And the shot clock and game clock are almost identical, too. Yep, three-tenths of a second difference between the two. 30.3 seconds remain. So, obviously, Frontier is going to D up here, try to get a quick steal, get down court, and score, make it a one-possession game. If you can do that with 20 seconds left, you're okay. But, you again, as you mentioned, Chris, they can't let a lot of time go by here. Frontier will be inbounding. They get it in to Morris. Takes it across the timeline right. It's a four point game right now. 23 seconds. Deep on the left side is Evans. Down to 15. Here comes Morris on the right side. Puts up the shot down. No good. Rebound taken down by Gansett. They got a foul quickly. Morse and Sharp. Reaches in, Monad Harris goes to the line. 11.4 seconds left, and the Gansett Warriors are gonna go to championship Saturday. They tried to feed Morris for the three. He saw the lane, which isn't necessarily a bad move, but they took way too much time getting that shot off. They had it with 30 seconds left, and that all ended now with 11.4 seconds left. First of two is up, it is good. Gansett by five. So it's a two possession game, only 11 seconds left. So Gansett is about to seal the deal. Second free throw, Como, that is no good. Comes to Peter Carey. Evans will run it up quick. They need a three. On the right side, three pointer is put up. That is no good. Rebound goes out of bounds. 2.5 seconds left off Frontier. Gansett's gonna get a couple of uh, subs into the lineup. Great basketball game, but did not come down to a buzzer beater at the end as we potentially thought it might because Narragansett made the plays down the stretch. Frontier did not. We'll talk about that in the postgame show. There's a timeout actually on the floor. We'll step aside for a quick 30-second break, and we're back for the final 2.5 seconds next on Bear Country 95.3. We have the post-game show coming up here momentarily, including the Helena Chemical Player of the Game. It'll come from Frontier, since they're playing an out-of 
County opponent. But alas, it'll be player of the game in a losing cause as Narragansett is going to win the Western Mass semifinal here. They'll play for a chance at the title Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock. They will inbound the ball. Yep. They will dribble it out. Ball game over. Narragansett 60. Frontier 55. And the Warriors are headed to championship Saturday. And the Frontier Red Hawks season ends with a semifinal loss here at the cage. Take a time out here, a 90 second break. We're back to wrap it up after these. This is Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And welcome to the post-game show here on Bear Country 95.3. We have gone final here. Western Mass Boys Division Three semifinal goes to Narragansett as they defeat the Frontier Red Hawks 60 to 55 in a thrilling back and forth affair here at the cage. Jeff and Chris back here and our studio producer, Hannah Gray. Well, great year for Frontier, obviously, and a supreme effort here today. But when crunch time came, Narragansett made the plays and Frontier just unable to do so. Unfortunately, someone has to lose that game, and that is unfortunate because both these teams, I think, proved they deserve to be on this stage. Uh, I just think that. And I, I'm surprised, honestly. I, I thought Frontier was going to go to a different gear at some point. When they got up by eight, you thought, okay, this is where this, they're going to start steamrolling. And it just didn't happen. And, and give you know, Narragansett credit. They did a good job defensively, especially on Karsten Carey. And the guys who did the most damage to him were Kumo, Como and Jakes. And they double teamed him in the second half. And, and the whole Frontier game plan was to get the ball inside, which is smart when a guy like Karsten Carey in the paint. And when Karsten wasn't available, you dish it out to Peter for the easy layup or the jam. And, and Narragansett managed to take that game away in the second half. And the outside shooting just was not there for Frontier tonight. No, it was not. It ended up costing them dearly. And again, even when the Carey brothers got the ball, uh, you know, they, they weren't comfortable out there, clearly. They were going up against guys who were very physical. Guy, they were doing a great... At one point... Gansett had a guy that was fronting Carson Carey and a guy that was coming in from behind. And Carson, you could tell the discomfort level was right there. Despite that, it was right there for the Red Hawks. They did open up that eight-point lead. Uh, and I really felt like we need, we need to talk about Mr. Evans. You know, he was maligned at one point during the year. You know, he kind of went through a rough stretch. But, boy, late regular season and through the postseason, man, he, he played some terrific basketball. Well, when, when the, the two main threats on the inside are taken away, then Frontier depends on their outside game and their guards. And Kalen Evans is the most athletic player on that team. And tonight he really put them on his back at 17 points, uh, including 10 in the second half. And he was everywhere, defensively and offensively, diving after loose balls. I mean, I think that may have been the best game we've seen him play in a very long time, and he definitely, without him, it would have been a lot different. Kalen Evans definitely is the Helena Chemical player of the game here as uh, Frontier loses by five, 60 to 55. So the Red Hawks, you know, where they go from here, you know, obviously some changes coming in for next year's team. You're going to lose a Carey brother, lose some other guys as well, but 
We saw that Frontier JV team, uh, <laughs> pretty good too. It really, it never ends with those guys. Uh, no. Even when they're quote unquote down, they're still pretty good. And sometimes like this year, they're excellent. The future is bright when your JV team is putting up like 80 and 90 points on opponents. <laughs> uh, you, you, you're looking good. Ben Barchess has got a lot to work with next year. And whether Peter Carey comes back or not, there's been some speculation that he might go to private school. Who knows? But, um, but the future, like I said, is strong for the Frontier Red Hawks. They'll be back on this stage probably maybe next year even. Um, but they've uh, they certainly had a great season. It was a lot of fun to watch them this year. Frontier ends their season with an 18-4 and record. Narragansett goes to 19-3 and as the number three seed. They'll play the winner of the game that's going to start here in about 15 minutes or so. Warm-up's going on right now. The Wakona Warriors, the number five seed, going up against number one, Sabas. People think it will be Sabas, but... As uh, we've learned in the past, those Berkshire teams, they come down here to the cage, and they do very well here. They've had a good record already in this tournament. Would not be shocked if the Warriors are the team that advance, but whoever wins this game, they will play Narragansett because the Narragansett Warriors win it. Final score for the final time here at Curry X Cage, UMass Amherst. The Narragansett Warriors 60, the Frontier Red Hawks 55 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. And for Chris Collins and for Hannah Gray, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us. You have a great night in Bear Country.